Hello, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Between Two Lights, where we talk about the mundane yet important aspects of video production. Today, we're updating our Canon camera's firmware. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. Thanks for turning in to another episode of the M1 Gear channel. We're going to update the firmware of the Canon C300 Mark III. So, let's get started with it right away. First thing you need to do is go to the Canon website to download the firmware. We'll put a link to this page here in the comments and descriptions. This is where I like to start, the softwares and drivers page. Now you can scroll through here and find your camera if you like, but it's so easy to just to put what camera you have right here. It pops up with all their options of the C300. I can find the Mark III and there we go. Now I'm just gonna go here to the firmware tab and it's a brand new camera. Boy, it's a big one, 81 meg, that's a huge firmware. So you pick the operating system that you're on. In this case, I'm using the Mac. A click the agreements and download. And I will save that to the desktop. So while that downloads, I'm gonna come over here to the camera now. Now this is a brand new camera. I have not done much programming, so I'm not really worried about saving my settings. But a lot of times that might be something you do wanna do. If you've programmed your buttons or if you've saved custom color profiles, you may want to save those so you don't have to reload everything. So you go over here to the wrench and then you can go to the transfer menu on number one, and I can choose save to an SD card, but I don't have an SD card, so I'm gonna have to grab one. Can you grab me one? Oh wait, there's one. Aha. So just like the C300 Mark II, you have to use a different type of memory card than what you normally record to. You don't actually record to SD cards here on this camera, there's in this, can you see this? There's a little slot here that says SD. There it is. And now you can see that the 2SD here is highlighted. I can now choose to save the data. And now my custom settings are backed up and can quickly be restored later. So now we will go to the firmware, which also means I will probably need this SD card once again. So let's pull this out. Plug that here into our Mac. And as you can see in the file it downloaded are some setup instructions. You can go through these if you like and get all the nitty gritty details. But ultimately what you need to do here is take this FIR file and drag this over to your Canon memory card. And there we go, not much to it. Go ahead and eject that. Now you take your firmware that you've downloaded from your computer, you plug it back into your camera here. Now I go into the menu button again. Let's go to the wrench at the end and then all the way over to the very end. On this camera, it's screen nine and there's firmware and you can see the camera shows up V11. And if I don't have the SD card, it would not show it up. Now, if I did not have the correct file on here, this would be gray like the lens is here. So I know I have the correct file and it looks like I'm one step up, one version behind. And there we go. Updating the firmware, I can hear the fan kicking in. That's probably gonna take a few minutes. So we'll wait and come back to it. Okay, there we go, it's finished up. First thing you have to do is set the time and date, and then it lets you know, hey, firmware updated successfully. So that is how you update the firmware on the new Canon C300 Mark III. 
If you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and you'll see more videos from the M1 team. Thank you for watching everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay.